Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and another Shipbuilding 101 tutorial video. And today what we're going to be focusing on is ship handling. Now, ship handling is something a little bit more advanced um, than your regular stuff. So I'm just going to hit auto, auto design and I'm going to talk through um, any problems this particular ship has and how you can reduce it. So when you're looking at handling, um, what you're wanting to look at are a few stats, which you can find over here on the right. Um, one of them is the turning circle. Turning circles um, represent the diameter of the circle travel on the sea surface to complete a full turn. And I believe this is at full speed. Uh, so if you make the ship slower, then your turning circle will go down. However, that's slightly misleading because um, if you go with a very, very slow uh, super battleship, hundreds of thousands of tons, it will not turn fast. So really, this the turning circle is only accurate if you're going at a, a kind of medium, kind of normal speed. You're not building something incredibly slow. Next, uh, we ha you have the turning rate. Um, that's how quickly you can uh, you can move around and, and stuff like that. There's a lot of interesting stats in here, but we're, we're going to leave those for now. And we're going to go right down to the bottom. And we're going to look at pitch and roll. So these are the three things that I tend to look at when I'm designing a ship in terms of how well it handles. My turning circle, my pitch, and my roll. So you want... A ship to be able to be relatively responsive um, so that you can avoid torpedoes and things and um, you know that's more important for smaller ships but smaller ships tend to have excellent ability to dodge anyway but if you're building a battleship do keep an eye on how maneuverable the ship is um, because you might find that you find it very very difficult to avoid torpedoes now this ship the pitch in and roll actually aren't that bad but if you hover over them you can see that they cause quite a long list of um, problems if they get quite high. So you can see pitch affects base accuracy, the accuracy penalty in weather, flooding chance, um, the chance of uh, water spraying through the ship, your acceleration, your turning rate, and various other things. So your pitch and roll will affect how well you're able to actually complete this turning circle which is really important to keep in mind. Roll, again, affects accuracy, flooding chance, and the same sort of things. So what affects this? Well, at the moment, you see we've got a pitch of 21.4. But if I stick this turret way out the front, it increases the pitch to 30.9. And the same is true if I move this turret back. We can, we're can we increasing our pitch. Same as if I move the tower right forward. Obviously, I've got a pretty big weight offset at this point. But that's increasing my pitch. So if you imagine a line going through the middle of the ship, the more weight you have right at the front and the back of the ship, the larger your pitch is going to be. Um, roll, on the other hand, roll is determined by, um, if you look at the ship this way and you draw a line down the middle, how much weight you have to the left or to the right, away from the center line of the ship. And the main culprit for this is if you put on side turrets. So if we stick on two enormous 20-inch quad guns as side turrets, you can see that my roll has jumped way up to 73.3. And that is quite a big accuracy debuff. 18% um, just from the roll of the ship. And this is kind of a, a, hidden, um, a hidden accuracy penalty. And... Um, it took me quite a while to figure out what was causing this because you'd, you'd build what you'd think was a, a really nice ship, had lots and lots of guns, but it couldn't hit anything. And that if that's affecting you, then have a look at your pitch, have a look at your roll, because if they are quite large, then you will find that you it's it's hard to hit stuff. And if you watch my uh, any of my other videos, you've maybe seen see me shying away from builds where you can kind of do something like like this and then grab some side turrets so this is this is quite a 
I, I get asked quite a lot, why don't you do something like that, where you've got kind of very, very large amounts of firepower going forwards. Um, well, if you do do something like that, then you're going to have a re really large roll. Um, that's why I tend to avoid it. Um, because that minus 20 odd percent base accuracy, that's a lot. Um, that really is a lot. So do keep in mind when you're building ships, if you're going for um, a ship and, and you want to have good accuracy, you want to have the ability to turn well, keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on your pitch and your roll because if these are large values, then you, you're really going to find that that is tricky. Um, as well, if you are looking at which uh, ships to design, you'll notice there's a lot more stats to the various hulls than um, uh, than you might expect. Experiment with these, um, but they the pitch and roll I think is is more important. But you can see here some of them have quite large turning slowdowns. Um, and the hull form is the other one. Hull form, um, basically, this affects, uh, so it tells you here, your turning speed as well. Uh, so good hull form, high hull form values, that is important as well if you're trying to make a ship that handles really well. Um, but pitch and roll, they're not obvious that you need to look at them, but uh, they can really make the difference between a good ship and a great ship. Anyway, I hope that's been of some use to you, and uh, I hope it helps you make more powerful ships and more effective ships. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.